What is going on summoners? This is Gonzo the Grim with a how to hit monkey video. So this is my guide on hit monkey and how to use them most effectively. I'll go over some of his abilities and different ways that you can play around with them and the most effective way in my opinion to fight with him. So if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so, hit that like button and enjoy the video. So to get things started, I want to go ahead and go over his monkey schemes and how they work. So when you have a monkey scheme, you can either activate two different modes, which are going to be Primal Rage and Assassin's Cunning. But first, let's talk about getting an actual monkey scheme ready. So Hit Monkey's Nunchaku attacks are guaranteed critical hits against opponents who are not blocking. And he uses them for his first medium hit, his first light hit, and his second medium hit. So for every three critical hits, you get a monkey scheme. And what can you do with this monkey scheme? Well, you have two choices. The first one, you can activate Primal Rage by attacking into your opponent. You can also activate Primal Rage by getting attacked by your opponent, like so. As far as Assassin's Cunning goes, uh, you can activate this after you have your monkey scheme by blocking an attack. So as you can see here, one, two, three critical hits activates a monkey scheme, and I block the attack to activate Assassin's Cunning. Additionally, you can dex an attack like so. We'll see that one more time, right there. Now, what happens when you're fighting a mercenary opponent? So any opponent that's tagged with this here mercenary tag, whenever you activate either Assassin's Cunning or Primal Rage, they're both going to activate at the same exact time. So in this example here, they both activate, but you will see that um, Primal Rage gets removed because it purifies my suicide debuffs, and I'll talk more about that later on. So alternatively, uh, you can activate both whenever you get knocked down. I don't prefer this method, but hey, to each their own. So first off, let's go into Primal Rage and talk about that. So, with Primal Rage, you ignore the opponent's armor and resistances. And you also gain a 100% chance to purify one of each stun and damage over time debuff on Hitmonkey when one is gained, or when Primal Rage activates, and this removes Primal Rage. So this is a great way to start off a fight if you run suicides. I always do two hit combo, back off, and come in for one more just to shrug off those suicides in the very beginning. Additionally, your light attacks uh, have a 20% chance to disorient the opponent, which decreases their block proficiency and defensive ability accuracy by 40% for 6 seconds. And this can scale up to 45% and your special attacks can also do this. So as you can see here, I disorient this Iron Man, and when he goes into our activate his arc overload, the disorient prevents that from happening, and I go in for the kill. So let's talk about what really makes Hitmonkey great, which is Assassin's Cunning. So this is the one, the mode that you're going to want to be in, in my opinion. So the first thing about Assassin's Cunning is that it prevents the opponent's evade effects. So this works great on all opponents that evade, including Mordo. He will not activate his Astral Evade. Additionally, if opponent uh, does evade and you do not have a monkey scheme, it will automatically activate Assassin's Cunning. If you have Primal Rage going and they automatically uh, evade, it will actually Activate Assassin's Cunning and refresh Primal Rage, which is pretty awesome. So the other thing is that when you have Assassin's Cunning active, you get a 60% chance to evade incoming attacks while not blocking. However, this does remove Assassin's Cunning and you do have to reactivate it. So think of this like the Nick Fury and Quake synergy, and you get those three free evade charges. It works the same exact way and it kind of saves your butt in when you need it. So let's talk about those critical bleeds. So the bleed debuffs from Hitmonkeys and Chakus can be critical bleeds, multiplying their potency by the critical damage multiplier, and the chance for a critical bleed is also equal to the critical chance. So this chance is also increased for every three critical hits landed during Assassin's Cunning. So let's talk about the best way to play, in my opinion, and uh, I'll give you guys a few examples of what I do. So the first thing I do is I shrug off my suicides, so as you can see I went in for the two hit combo and then I activated Primal Rage to shrug those off. Now what I want to do is I want to keep myself in Assassin's Cunning and land those three critical hits in a row as much as possible so I can scale up that damage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and build up to my special three and let's talk about that special three here whenever I activate it. So notice right now my medium hits are hitting for about 7,200-ish. 
So look what happens when I throw this uh, special three. So your special three, uh, you gain a cruelty for 27 seconds and it increases critical damage reading by uh, whatever your signature level is. And this also um, pauses your Assassin's Cunning and Primal Rage for 30, 30 seconds whenever you're attacking into your opponent. So if you notice now, my medium hits are hitting in the 9,000s as opposed to the 6,000s. And now they're scaling up into the 10,000 range because I've been hitting so many critical hits in a row. Now let's go into a fight where I actually don't shrug off my suicides in the beginning and I don't activate my special 3. So with this fight, uh, I'm trying to get into my Assassin's Cunning as fast as possible and what I'm trying to do is just throw my special 2s over and over again. And I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. I think at one point I do go ahead and purify my, um, my suicide debuffs right here and uh, I go ahead and wait for Assassin's Cunning again before I hit my special 2 and you're about to see why. So now I have Assassin's Cunning, I want to throw the special 2, and if you throw the special 2 immediately after a critical hit, all the hits are guaranteed to be critical in that special 2. If you have Assassin's Cunning activated while you throw that special 2, then you also have a higher chance that those critical hits can be critical bleeds. So let's talk about his special 1. If Assassin's Cunning is active, this attack has Vigilance and cannot miss. If Primal Rage is active, the attack is unblockable. And if either one of these attacks miss or break through a block, you ref refresh Assassin's Cunning and Primal Rage, and Hitmonkey will gain both uh, Vigilance and Unblockable until they run out. So as you can see right here, I have Assassin's Cunning active. Uh, he has his shield active, the Star Talk. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my special one and activate Vigilance and it will not miss. I'm gonna go ahead and see this again. So that's a pretty nice mechanic. So uh, let's go into the Realm of Legends Winter Soldier fight. So this is an ideal situation for Hitmonkey because he is a mercenary. So when you start this fight off, you can go ahead and um, you can either activate one or the other. It doesn't matter because it's going to activate both. So in this case, uh, my Primal Rage disappeared because it purified my suicide debuffs. And what I'm going to go for right here is I'm going to try to stay in Assassin's Cunning. And I want to go ahead and just land three critical hits in a row as much as possible. And I'm going to build up to the special three, and then I'm going to launch a special two. And that's the way that you're going to do the most damage with hit with me. So right here, my mediums are hitting for 7,899. And my critical bleed chances are going up and up because I've landed so many critical hits during the fight in Assassin's Cunning. So I go ahead and go for the special two and I think this is pretty much all it takes to finish him off. And there you have it. So let's go ahead and talk about the synergies for Hitmonkey. So you don't need any of these synergies, they're all pretty nice to have though. Uh, but the first of these is with Deadpool and Deadpool X-Force called Not the Face. So with this synergy, Hitmonkey, um, if any bleed fails to apply to the opponent due to an immunity, then Hitmonkey deals a burst of instant passive bleed damage for 50% of his attack. Kind of like Nick Fury. It's a pretty awesome synergy. Uh, with Deadpool and Deadpool X-Force, your special attack 1 has a 100% chance to bleed, dealing damage over 6 seconds equal to 120% of the attack reading. Going into the uh, next synergy, Spider Monkey with Spider-Man. Hit Monkey, uh, when fighting a mercenary opponent, you gain the effects of the level 1 Assassin Mastery, which is pretty awesome because that's a pretty expensive mastery to have. And if the Assassin Mastery is already acquired, then it activates when the opponent is below 25% of their maximum health, as opposed to the normal 20%. With Spider-Man, the chance for critical rate to be increased by special attacks is increased by 92% flat. Additionally, um, he will no longer evade while you're blocking, which gets kind of annoying. So that's cool to have if you do ever plan on using Spider-Man or if they buff him in the future. The next synergy I have is Furry Frenemies. So this is with Rocky Raccoon, Squirrel Girl, and Beast. 
So with Hit Monkey and Rocket, your critical hits have a 30% chance to armor break the opponent for 6 seconds, reducing their armor rating by 700. With Squirrel Girl and Beast, you activate a combo shield for 5 seconds when the champion will lose their combo meter from being struck, and this activates only once per fight for those guys. The next synergy we have is No Evil with Daredevil, Hawkeye, and Black Bolt. So with this synergy, Hit Monkey, uh, the last 3 hits of each heavy attack are guaranteed critical hits. With Daredevil, the chance to dodge projectile attacks is increased by 70% flat. With Hawkeye, your arrow strikes are guaranteed critical hits against bleeding opponents who are not blocking. And with Black Bolt, critical rating is increased by 300 for each buff on Black Bolt, which is an awesome buff for Black Bolt. Dorky Dave did a video on this buff, and he does amazing damage with this. The next up we have is Enemies. So this is with Black Widow Deadly Origins, Elektra, Luke Cage, and Taskmaster. And all champions gain 155 plus critical rating with any of these guys on your team. And the last one we have is Teammates with Old Man Logan and Massacre. And this grants all champions on the team a plus five perfect block chance. So with my synergies, personally, I go ahead and go for the increased critical rating just so I can boost that special two and get those critical bleeds. Let's talk about uh, Hit Monkey's signature ability. So the monkey, the myth, and the legend. So this is on a 6 star level 200. Uh, while the opponent is above or at 25% health or is a mercenary, Assassin's Cunning and Primal Rage last 3.5 seconds longer. And while the opponent is below 25% health or is a mercenary, Hit Monkey passively reduces their defensive ability accuracy by 40.6%. This is great. If you're fighting a mercenary, this is activated the entire fight. If it's not a mercenary, then you, you have a benefit when they're above 25% health and you have a benefit when they're below 25% health, which is pretty amazing. So that is all I got guys for Hit Monkey. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something that you didn't know already. So like I said, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button and leave a comment and tell me what you guys thought. And look out for my next video. You guys have an amazing day. Peace.